General Zalmer stood at the center of the Empire's command hub, his expression one of casual boredom as the latest reports came in. The humans had been spotted near one of their outer sectors. A minor incursion, nothing more. The Galactic Empire had crushed every species they had come across, and now some upstart Deathworlders were trying to make a name for themselves. Zalmer scoffed at the idea. Humans, he muttered, half amused. They've barely figured out how to traverse the stars, and now they think they can challenge us? The officers around him chuckled, sharing in his disdain. The Empire had ruled for centuries, its vast military unmatched across the galaxy. Planets fell under its control like clockwork, with few ever daring to resist for long. Humanity, from what little they had observed, was just another primitive race that would either submit or be crushed. Commander, Zalmer called out lazily. How many ships did we detect? Approximately a dozen, General. The commander replied, though his tone carried a slight edge of unease. They're small, lightly armed by our standards. Lightly armed? Zalmer chuckled. And they dared to challenge the Empire with such pitiful force? Send the Eleventh Fleet. This won't even take an hour. The commander hesitated. General, there have been some strange reports about human tactics. Zalmer raised an eyebrow. Tactics? What tactics could they possibly have that we wouldn't counter within minutes? The commander's voice dropped. Their last encounter with the Treller was unconventional. They didn't fight as expected. The Treller fleet didn't just lose. They were obliterated. Nothing left. Zalmer waved a dismissive hand. The Treller are weak, always have been. Send our ships. This is a waste of my time. The fleet was mobilized, and Zalmer turned his attention back to more pressing matters. Conquering another world, expanding the empire, these were the things that concerned him. He had already forgotten about the humans by the time the eleventh fleet reached the sector. The empire's finest ships moved into position, their weapons primed, their confidence high. Target the lead human vessel, came the order from the fleet's captain, a smug satisfaction in his voice. The human ships were smaller, barely registering as threats on the imperial systems. Destroying them would be little more than an exercise. The first volley was fired, massive energy beams surging through the void toward the human fleet. But then something strange happened. The human ships didn't follow standard combat protocol. They didn't engage in formation. Instead, they scattered in every direction, moving in unpredictable, erratic patterns. The Imperial fleet, used to enemies falling in line or retreating under pressure, was momentarily thrown off. Why aren't they returning fire? The captain muttered, perplexed. Are they fleeing? But the humans weren't fleeing. They were maneuvering. Before the Imperial fleet could adjust, the human ships suddenly came about, cutting through the formation like predators. One by one, human vessels targeted the weak points in the Empire's ships. Not with overwhelming firepower, but with precision. Energy beams struck the Imperial cruiser's engines, disabling them in seconds. The humans weren't trying to win a prolonged battle. They were dismantling the fleet piece by piece. Sir, we're losing ships. An officer cried out, panic rising in his voice. The captain's face twisted in disbelief. Impossible! They can't. A human ship cut through the wreckage of a disabled cruiser firing point-blank into the command center of another imperial vessel. The captain's voice cut off as his ship exploded in a blinding flash. The rest of the fleet faltered, unsure of how to respond. Back in the command hub, General Zalmer was alerted to the chaos. The reports came in faster than he could process them. General, the Eleventh Fleet is being systematically destroyed, the commander said, his voice now laced with urgency. The humans, Destroyed? Zalmer's voice was incredulous. How many of our ships have they lost? None, the commander admitted quietly. Zalmer's eyes narrowed. How are they doing this? They're not fighting in any way we've seen before. They aren't engaging us directly. They're dismantling us, targeting critical systems, exploiting our weaknesses. They're not fighting, General. They're annihilating. The words hung in the air like a death sentence. 
Salmer felt a chill run down his spine. The Empire had never faced an enemy like this before. It was one thing to battle an opponent with superior technology or numbers. It was another to face an enemy that understood how to systematically destroy without mercy, without hesitation. Send reinforcements, Zalmer ordered, his voice sharp. Double the fleet. Crush them. The orders went out, and more ships were deployed. The Empire couldn't afford to lose this battle, not to humans, not to a race they had dismissed as inconsequential. But even as the reinforcements arrived, the same pattern emerged. The humans didn't fight like the Empire expected. They didn't form lines of battle. They didn't engage in direct combat. They moved in ways that seemed chaotic but were calculated. Every movement, every shot, was aimed at tearing apart the Empire's fleet piece by piece. One by one, the reinforcements fell. Disabled, destroyed, obliterated before they could even organize themselves. It was as if the humans had planned this all along, drawing the Empire into a trap of their own making. Zalmer's claws scraped against the command panel as he watched the tactical display. Red icons representing the Imperial ships blinked out one after another, replaced by the cold silence of space. How had it come to this? How had the Empire been so blind to the threat humanity posed? General, the commander's voice was barely a whisper now. We've lost contact with the fleet. The humans, they've annihilated everything. Zalmer stood frozen, staring at the display. His mind raced, searching for answers, for some way to salvage the situation. But deep down, he knew. The Empire had made a fatal mistake. They had underestimated humanity. General, what are your orders? The commander asked, his voice trembling. Zalmer clenched his fists his pride warring with the cold reality of the situation. This wasn't a battle they could win. The humans had proven that they weren't just another species to be conquered. They were something far more dangerous. Prepare the defenses, Zalmer said finally, his voice hard. If they come for us next, we'll be ready. But even as he spoke the words, a part of him knew the truth. Humanity wasn't coming to fight. They were coming to annihilate. The Empire's reinforcements arrived in a flash, their massive fleet dwarfing the human vessels scattered across the battlefield. The newly deployed Imperial commanders carried the same smug confidence that Zalmer had projected earlier. This was the power of the Empire, overwhelming, undeniable. There was no way the humans could withstand such a force. But then, the battle began. The human ships didn't engage in the way the Empire expected. They moved swiftly darting between the larger imperial vessels with unnerving precision. They avoided direct confrontation, instead weaving through the chaos of the battlefield like predators stalking their prey. Each time the Empire tried to fire, the humans were already gone, leaving the massive imperial cannons to blast nothing but empty space. The imperial fleet scrambled to adjust, but they were too slow. One of the Empire's battleships fired a volley, but the human ships scattered just before impact causing the Empire's own fire to narrowly miss one of their own cruisers. Confusion spread among the Imperial ranks. What are they doing? One of the officers muttered, his fingers dancing nervously over his controls. They're not following standard tactics. Another officer replied, his voice tinged with disbelief. Of course, they weren't. Humans didn't play by the rules of conventional warfare. They had studied their enemies, understood their weaknesses and now they were exploiting them. The Empire's pride was its downfall. They had never anticipated that a race they considered primitive would be capable of such strategic genius. The human fleet began to strike back, but not with brute force. They didn't need overwhelming firepower. They were far too efficient for that. Instead, they targeted critical systems, striking at the engines and power cores of the Empire's ships. In moments, the Empire's largest battleships were crippled, left adrift and vulnerable. Shields are failing, a voice cried out from one of the Imperial ships. We've lost main power. Panic began to creep through the Imperial ranks. The humans weren't engaging in full-scale battles. They were dismantling the fleet, one ship at a time, and doing so with terrifying efficiency. On board the Imperial Command ship, 
General Zalmer watched as the tactical display began to fill with red warnings. More and more of the Empire's ships were being disabled, crippled, or outright destroyed. The humans didn't fight for ground or glory, they fought to break their enemies completely. General, we need to regroup, an officer said, his voice rising with panic. They're tearing us apart. Zalmer's eyes remained fixed on the display. He had never seen anything like this. Every attempt to counter the human fleet had been met with failure. The Empire's forces were being outmaneuvered at every turn. It was as though the humans could anticipate their every move. How are they doing this? Zalmer muttered to himself. They're supposed to be inferior. But they weren't inferior. Not in the ways that mattered. The humans had clearly been preparing for this moment, studying the Empire, understanding their tactics, their weaknesses, and now, they were executing their strategy flawlessly. Another explosion rocked the battlefield as a human vessel unleashed a concentrated energy blast, cutting through one of the Empire's destroyers. The Imperial fleet was in disarray, struggling to maintain formation as the humans continued their relentless assault. We've lost contact with the third squadron, an officer reported, his voice trembling. The human ships, they're picking us off, one by one. Zalmer clenched his jaw. He could feel the fear spreading among his officers, the doubt taking hold. The Empire had always been the dominant force in the galaxy, but now, for the first time, they were facing an enemy that didn't just fight to survive, they fought to win, at all costs. Sir, the human fleet is moving to intercept our reinforcements, another officer shouted, his eyes wide with fear. They're cutting us off. Zalmer's heart sank. The humans weren't fighting a defensive battle. They weren't trying to protect their territory or defend their position. They were hunting. And now, they had turned the Empire's reinforcements into prey. The human fleet moved with terrifying speed, closing in on the Imperial reinforcements before they could fully engage. One by one, the human ships struck, disabling key systems and leaving the Imperial ships vulnerable. The Empire's reinforcements, meant to crush the humans in a show of overwhelming force, were being dismantled before they could even enter the fray. General, we've lost over half the fleet, an officer called out, his voice cracking with panic. The humans, they're unstoppable. Zalmer's claws dug into the armrests of his command chair. He had never felt this before, this gnawing sense of helplessness. The Empire had always been in control, always dictated the terms of battle. But now, that control had been ripped away, and they were at the mercy of an enemy that seemed to be everywhere and nowhere all at once. Send word to the capital, Zalmer ordered, his voice hard. Tell them to prepare the defenses. The humans are more dangerous than we anticipated. The officers around him exchanged uneasy glances. They had never heard their general speak with such gravity before. It was as though he were admitting, for the first time, that they were facing a threat beyond anything the Empire had encountered. As the humans continued their systematic annihilation of the Imperial fleet, Salmer couldn't shake the feeling that this was no mere battle. The humans weren't fighting for survival or victory in the traditional sense. They were sending a message, a message that the Empire had underestimated the wrong species. General, what are your orders? One of the officers asked, his voice barely steady. Zalmer stared at the tactical display, his mind racing. Every move the humans had made was calculated, precise. They weren't just winning, they were dominating. And if the Empire didn't act quickly, they would be completely eradicated. We fall back, Zalmer said finally, his voice low and grim. Regroup. We'll face them again once we understand their tactics. The officers moved to carry out the orders, but there was a palpable sense of dread in the air. The Empire had never been forced to retreat before, especially not from a force as small as the humans. But Zalmer knew better than to let pride blind him to the truth. General, the humans are moving to intercept our retreat, an officer shouted, his voice tinged with desperation. Zalmer's heart pounded in his chest. The humans had anticipated everything. They weren't just winning the battle, they were controlling every aspect of it. And now, they were closing the net around the Empire's forces, leaving no room for escape. Prepare for a final stand, Zalmer ordered, 
his voice steely. If they want a war, we'll give them one. But even as he spoke, he knew that this wasn't just a war. This was something far more terrifying. The humans weren't fighting for territory or power. They were fighting to annihilate. And the Empire was next on their list. The human fleet was relentless. There was no hesitation, no mercy. Every move was deliberate, every strike a calculated dismantling of the once mighty imperial forces. The Empire, which had prided itself on its superiority, was now struggling just to survive. Zalmer could feel the weight of his command slipping from his grasp, the control he'd always wielded crumbling beneath the brutal efficiency of the human onslaught. They're coming straight for us, an officer reported, his voice thin with barely contained panic. They've broken through our reinforcements. There's nothing between them and the command ship now. Zalmer stared at the tactical display, the dots representing his fleet dwindling, blinking out one by one. He had underestimated them from the start. He had assumed, like so many before him, that humanity was weak, fragile, and technologically inferior. And now, that mistake was costing him everything. Prepare the forward batteries. Zalmer ordered, his voice cold. If they're coming for us, we'll meet them head on. The crew moved with frantic energy, their faces pale, eyes wide. They had never seen their general this way before, never seen him forced into a corner. Zalmer had always been the one in control, always the one who dictated the terms of battle. But now, it was the humans dictating everything. They don't fight like anyone we faced before. Zalmer muttered, mostly to himself. They don't fight for victory. They fight to obliterate. The humans had proven it time and time again. They didn't leave survivors. They didn't give their enemies time to regroup or retreat. Every engagement ended in total annihilation. Zalmer knew that if they lost here, it wouldn't just be a defeat. It would be the end of the empire as they knew it. They're locking on to us. An officer warned. We've got incoming fire. Shields up. Brace for impact. Zalmer shouted, gripping the armrests of his command chair. But the human fire wasn't the overwhelming barrage they expected. It was precise, targeted. The ship shuddered as the humans disabled key systems, hitting vulnerable spots that even the Empire had barely considered. Shields are down to thirty percent, another officer reported, panic lacing his voice. Zalmer clenched his teeth. Return fire. Don't let them think we're giving up. The Imperial fleet fired back, but it was a futile gesture. The human ships moved too fast, their tactics too unpredictable. They didn't engage in drawn-up battles. They struck hard and disappeared, only to return moments later from a different angle, exploiting weaknesses they had clearly anticipated long before the Empire even realized they existed. How are they doing this? An officer muttered, his fingers trembling over his console. It's like they know everything about us. Zalmer knew exactly what was happening. The humans had studied them. They had spent years, maybe decades, watching the Empire, learning how they fought, how they thought. And now they were using that knowledge to destroy them from within. This wasn't just a battle. It was the culmination of a carefully planned campaign of total eradication. Sir, we've lost another cruiser. An officer called out. They're targeting our larger ships now. Picking us off one by one. Zalmer's heart sank. It was exactly what he'd feared. The humans weren't just taking down ships at random. They were eliminating the Empire's strongest assets first, making sure there would be no recovery, no counterattack. General, they're hailing us, the communications officer said, his voice trembling. Zalmer hesitated for a moment. The humans had never attempted to communicate before. They had simply attacked, systematically wiping out anything that stood in their way. Why now? Put it through. Zalmer ordered, his voice low. The screen flickered to life, and a human face appeared. The figure wasn't what Zalmer had expected. There was no visible malice, no anger, just a cold, calculating calm. The human stared back at him their eyes reflecting none of the fear or desperation that had gripped the Empire's forces. General Zalmer, the human said, their voice steady, unyielding. You've fought well, but this is over. Surrender, 
and we may let some of you live. Salmer's claws dug into the armrests, his pride warring with the reality of the situation. He had never surrendered. The Empire had never surrendered. To do so would be unthinkable. You underestimate us, human. Salmer growled. We won't surrender to the likes of you. We are the Empire. We don't bend, and we don't break. The human tilted their heads slightly, as if considering Zalmer's words. Your empire is crumbling, General. It's already broken, you just haven't realized it yet. We're not here to fight you. We're here to end you. The cold certainty in the human's voice sent a chill down Zalmer's spine. This wasn't a threat, it was a statement of fact. The humans didn't see this as a war. To them, it was a process of elimination and the Empire was just the next name on their list. End transmission, Zalmer ordered, his voice hard. He couldn't let his crew see the fear creeping into his own heart. The screen went dark, and the command deck fell into a tense silence. Every officer was waiting for the next command, for some kind of reassurance that they still had a chance, that they could still win this. But Zalmer knew better. The humans weren't fighting for territory, for resources, or for power. They were fighting to erase their enemies from existence. Prepare all remaining ships for a final stand, Zalmer said, his voice steady, though the weight of the situation pressed heavily on him. If this is our end, we'll make sure they remember it. The officers moved quickly, though the fear was evident in their eyes. They knew what was coming. The humans weren't going to leave survivors. There would be no retreat, no regrouping. This was a fight to the death, and the humans had already made it clear they had no intention of letting anyone live. They're moving into position, an officer reported. We're surrounded. Zalmer took a deep breath, his mind racing. There was no escaping this. The humans had them cornered, outmaneuvered, outgunned. And now, they were closing in for the final blow. Fire everything we've got, Zalmer ordered his voice filled with the grim determination of a man who knew his fate was sealed. Let's make them work for it. The Imperial ships unleashed everything they had, a barrage of energy and missiles that lit up the void. But the humans were ready. They dodged and weaved through the assault, returning fire with pinpoint accuracy. One by one, the Empire's ships were torn apart, their wreckage scattered across the stars. They're tearing us apart, an officer whispered, his voice barely audible over the sounds of the battle. Salmer watched as his fleet disintegrated around him, the red icons on the tactical display blinking out one by one. It was over. The Empire, the great and powerful Empire, was being annihilated by an enemy they had thought beneath them. General, we've lost all forward defenses, an officer reported, his voice shaking. They're coming for us. Salmer nodded slowly, accepting the inevitable. The humans weren't just destroying the Empire's ships, they were destroying its legacy, its very existence. And soon, there would be nothing left. As the command ship shook under the impact of the human fire, Salmer closed his eyes. The humans had shown the galaxy something today. They weren't just another species fighting for survival. They were a force of nature, an unstoppable wave of destruction that wiped away anything in its path. Humans don't fight. Zalmer muttered under his breath. They annihilate. And then everything went dark. The remnants of the Imperial fleet drifted in silence, shattered and broken. Fires raged on the wreckage of what had once been the most formidable armada in the galaxy. General Zalmer's command ship stood in the middle of the debris field, barely functional, its systems flickering. The battle was over, but the humans hadn't finished yet. General, the human fleet is regrouping. An officer reported, his voice trembling. They're preparing for the final strike. Zalmer's eyes were cold as he stared at the tactical display, watching as the human ships moved with their signature precision. They weren't rushing. There was no chaos in their movements, no sign of exhaustion or hesitation. The humans had won, and now they were just tying up the last loose ends. How many of our ships are left? Zalmer asked, his voice hoarse. Less than ten, sir, the officer replied, barely able to look his commander in the eye. We've lost contact with most of the fleet. They, they didn't stand a chance. 
Salmer nodded slowly. It was worse than he had imagined. Not just a defeat, but a total collapse. The humans had done more than outmaneuver them. They had dismantled the empire, piece by piece, showing no mercy, no hesitation. They didn't just fight. They annihilated. General, should we prepare for evacuation? Another officer asked, desperation in his voice. He didn't say it, but the fear was clear. Evacuation was their only option. They couldn't win, and staying meant certain death. But Zalmer knew there would be no evacuation. The humans wouldn't allow it. They had made it clear from the start. There would be no survivors. The thought nodded him, twisting his pride into something bitter. The great galactic empire, brought to its knees by a species they had dismissed as insignificant. There's nowhere to run, Zalmer said, his tone heavy. They've closed off every escape route. The officer swallowed hard. But sir, if we surrender, maybe. Surrender? Zalmer's voice cut through the air like a blade. You think they'll show us mercy? You've seen what they've done. They didn't offer terms. They didn't ask for negotiations. They came here to destroy us, and that's exactly what they'll do. The officers fell silent, the weight of the situation settling over them like a suffocating fog. They had no options left. The humans had stripped them of everything, power, pride, control. All that remained was the end. General, incoming transmission from the human fleet, the communications officer said, his voice barely a whisper. Zalmer straightened in his chair, his eyes narrowing. Put it through. The screen flickered to life, and once again, the human captain appeared. There was no gloating in his expression, no malice. It was the same cold, emotionless stare they had seen before, the same ruthless efficiency that had guided every one of the human's actions. General Zalmer, the human captain said calmly, your fleet is destroyed. You have no reinforcements coming. You have no way out. This is the end of the Galactic Empire. Zalmer clenched his fists, his knuckles turning white. You think we'll just lie down and die, human? You think we'll let you wipe us out without a fight? The human captain didn't blink. You don't have a choice. This is over. We gave you a chance to surrender, and you refused. Now we'll finish what we started. Zalmer's chest tightened with a mix of anger and resignation. He had spent his entire life serving the Empire, building it into the galactic powerhouse it had become. And now, in a matter of hours, it had all been torn apart by a species they had once laughed at. Why? Zalmer asked, his voice low. Why did you do this? What do you gain from destroying us? The human's expression didn't change. Survival. The galaxy is a dangerous place, General. And the Empire, well, you were always going to come for us eventually. We just made sure it happened on our terms. Salmer's lips tightened into a thin line. Of course. They had known all along. The humans had never been afraid of the Empire. They had been waiting for this, preparing for this. And when the time came, they struck with a ferocity that the Empire had never anticipated. Prepared to fire. Zalmer ordered, his voice a final act of defiance. If we're going down, we'll take as many of them with us as we can. The officers moved quickly, though they knew it was a futile effort. The humans had them surrounded, outmatched in every possible way. Still, there was a grim determination in their movements. They would not go quietly. General, the human captain said, his voice cutting through the tension. You're out of options. Continuing to resist will only ensure the total destruction of your people. Surrender now, and maybe, just maybe, some of you will survive. Zalmer let out a bitter laugh. Survival? You've wiped out everything we've built. What's left to survive for? The human didn't respond. There was no need. The answer was clear, nothing. The Empire, once the most feared force in the galaxy, was finished. There was no rebuilding, no second chance. The humans had made sure of that. We'll never surrender to you, Zalmer said through gritted teeth. Not now. Not ever. The human nodded, as if he had expected that answer. Very well. Goodbye, General. 
the transmission cut off, and the command deck was once again plunged into silence. Zalmer looked around at his officers, their faces pale, their eyes filled with fear. They had fought valiantly, but it hadn't been enough. The humans had been prepared for everything, and they had executed their plan with ruthless precision. All weapons fire at will, Zalmer ordered, his voice steady despite the inevitability of what was coming. The Empire's last remaining ships unleashed their final barrage, a desperate attempt to strike back at their executioners. But the humans were ready. They moved swiftly, effortlessly avoiding the oncoming fire and returning it with devastating accuracy. One by one, the Empire's ships were destroyed, their hulks drifting lifelessly through space. Sir, we've lost main power, an officer reported, his voice hollow. The humans, they breached the command ship's defenses. Zalmer closed his eyes for a moment, taking a deep breath. This was it. The end. The Empire, his empire, was no more. Brace for impact, he said quietly, his voice filled with a quiet resignation. The command ship shuddered violently as the human's final strike hit its mark. Systems overloaded, alarms blared, and the crew was thrown to the floor as the ship began to break apart. Zalmer held on, refusing to let go until the very end. The humans had won. They had destroyed everything. But they hadn't taken his pride. He would go down with his ship, just as every commander of the Empire had sworn to do. In those final moments, as the command ship tore itself apart around him, Zalmer's thoughts drifted to the future. The galaxy would never be the same again. The Empire had ruled for centuries, but now the humans would take their place. And the galaxy would learn to fear them. The command ship exploded in a blinding flash, and with it, the last remnants of the Galactic Empire were gone, wiped from existence by a species that didn't fight to win, they fought to annihilate.